Hello viewers, hope you're doing well. Today in this video, I'm going to create a login API in the Spring Boot application. So let's get started. First of all, I'm going to create a new class that is a authentication response in the DTO package. On the top, I'm going to add here the notation that is a add the rate data. Inside the class, I'm going to add here the properties that is a JWT user ID and the user role. Let's go to the auth controller and here I'm going to inject the user repository. After that, I'm going to inject here the JWT util. After the JWT util, I'm going to inject here the user service. And the last I'm going to inject here that is a authentication manager. And here I'm going to create a method that is a login and the return type of this method that is authentication response and name of the method that is a login. Inside the argument, I'm going to get here the object that is an authentication request. Let me add here the notation that is at the rate request body. Let's go to the DTO package and here I'm going to create a new class that is an authentication request. On the top, I'm going to add here the notation that is a add the rate data. Inside the class, I'm going to add here the properties. So first we have email and second we have password. So let me create here the object of the authentication request. Inside the login method, I'm going to add here the try and the catch block. The catch block will catch a bad credentials exception. And here I'm going to throw a new bad credentials exception. And here's the exception message that is an incorrect username or password. Inside the try block, I'm going to call a method from the authentication manager that is a authenticate. Inside the argument, I'm going to pass here the username password authentication token. And inside the argument of the username password authentication token, I'm going to pass the credentials of the user that is a email and the password. First, we need to give here the email and second, we need to give here the password. If the credentials of the user is correct, then I'm going to create the object of the user details. And here I'm going to call a method from the user service that is a user detail service and the method that is a load user by username. And inside the argument, we need to pass here the email. After that, I'm going to call here the method from the user repository that is a find first by email. Inside the argument, I'm going to pass here the email that we will get from the authentication request object. Let me create here the object to save the response of the query. So it will be an optional user. Let me import the user entity. After getting the user from the database, I'm going to call here the method from the JWT util that is a generate token. Inside the argument, we need to pass here the user details. And here I'm going to initialize a variable to save the response of this method that is a generate token. So it will be a JWT token. After that, I'm going to create the object of the authentication response. We send the response of the API. Let me call it the object that is the authentication response. And here I'm going to set the JWT and we need to pass this variable name that is a JWT token. After that, I'm going to set here the user ID and we will get user ID from the object that is an optional user. So it will be a optional user dot get dot get ID. And after that, I'm going to set here the user role and we will get user role from optional user dot get dot get user role. And after this, I'm going to return the authentication response. Let me add this condition where we need to check if the option user is present, then we need to set these. On the top of this method, I'm going to add here the annotation that is at the rate post mapping to access this endpoint. And here I'm going to define the URL that is a slash login. Let's run the Spring Boot application. You can see here our Spring Boot application started successfully. Let's go to the Postman. And here I'm going to add the URL of our login API that is a slash API slash auth slash login. And the mapping, it will be a post. Let me remove here the name from the request body. You can see here the email and the password. Let's click on this send button. 
and you can see here the status of the API that is a 200 okay with the response first we have the JWT second we have the user ID of the user and third we have the user role of the user that is an employee let me add here the credentials of the admin let's click on the send button and you can see here the status of the API that is a 200 okay and you can see here the response with the JWT user ID and the user role that is the admin so that's all for now from my side if you have any confusion you can do comment and also subscribe to my channel for more videos and hit the bell icon thanks for watching take care bye